I make my way to the top, and I find myself standing on an island floating in midair on the edge of the void. Of course, I automatically look across to the opposite tower, but then I have to dare to look down. Welcome to Covered Uncut. Robert Zemeckis' new film, The Walk, opened last week. It's a dramatisation of Philip Petit's extraordinary high-wire walk between the tops of the Twin Towers back in 1974. It's a James Marsh documentary about it from 2008, Man on Wire, which is brilliant. And I had some problems with the Zemeckis film, except for the central 20-minute sequence in which we actually get that tightrope walk. I went to see it at the Empire Leicester Square on the IMAX screen, really, really big screen, and I found that central sequence quite breathtaking. It was really overwhelming just how visceral it was. And apparently one of the reasons it hit me so hard was that the presentation I saw was laser projected. Now I'm joined here by Dave Norris, famously last projectionist standing. Dave, as if you're speaking to a child or a small Labrador puppy, what is laser projection? Basically, Mark, laser projection is the next stage of, of digital projection, really. The Xenon lamp, which we used even back in 35 mil days, is being replaced by laser light, basically. Why is laser light better than a Xenon lamp? Well, it's giving you a wider colour gamut. You're seeing more colours. The blacks are blacker and the whites are whiter. I went to a demonstration of a, a, a Dolby system yeah. of, of laser projection in Amsterdam recently and the blacks were black because you, you couldn't see the edge of the screen and, and there was a white dot in the middle of the screen which looked white. Okay. So um, when you apply this to, you know, something, you know, like, 3D, which you know, there have always been inherent problems with the brightness. No, um, really, this, this, <laughs> you know, this is this is a this is a big plus. And people ask me, why do you risk death? For me, this is life. Let's talk foot lamberts, which I know is a favourite <laughs> subject. The, the issue for me with 3D has always been that, you know, you get this darkening because you've got the glasses, there's something between you and the screen. Correct. I have to say that when I saw the walk, I mean, I you know, there was no part of me that thought this isn't bright enough. In terms of foot lamberts, what's it giving you? Well, like all projection systems, there are several on the market. The IMAX one at the Empire, which you saw, which yeah. obviously is a cinema I know very well, on a screen that big, they were actually getting over 12 foot lamberts. Uh, and when you think that in your average multiplex the spec is supposed to be between three and a half and six so the fact that they were getting 12 and filling a screen that big is pretty incredible really i also saw everest oh, there, right. um and and that was that was equally impressive so i've seen that now in imax and i've seen that on this on this dolby cinema laser system as well and it was equally as impressive in both okay so two questions firstly as somebody who grew up watching science fiction films isn't this dangerous? I mean, isn't, aren't laser beams what you use to cut starfighters in half <laughs> and you attach to the heads of sharks in Austin Powers yeah, or even Or even cut Sean Connery in yeah, half. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Is yeah. it safe? <laughs> it is perfectly safe to watch one. They are perfectly safe to operate. You know, the, the, the laser's contained and by the time it actually goes through a prism and, and does its thing and actually goes through the lens, it's just a white light coming out. Finally, is this going to solve... 3D problem. See, I still have an issue with 3D as a, you know, just as a concept in terms of 3D projection. I was really struck by by watching the walk. I was I certainly no part of me thought it wasn't bright enough. Has laser solved it for you, or do you still remain, as I do, agnostic on the subject? I'm still, of 3D? I'm still sort of with you. I mean, the problem will always be that we've still got to wear the glasses. So until cinemas are going to offer us free retina operations to to <laughs> correct to correct our eyesight, so we can see it without the glasses, I think we're 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 still going to be stuck with the glasses. Okay. For quite some time. But in the meantime, laser projection, a significant step up or just the next thing? It is a significant step up. And if there is a cinema near you that has rolled it out, then you should go and... Although, let's be honest, unless you live near the West End, the chances of that being the case in the near future... At the moment, yes. Fairly small. Fortunately, yeah. Dave Norris, Last Projectionist Standing. As always, thank you very thank much. You.